I'm quite sure you've heard that to lose weight, one must reduce the intake of calories. But is that right? Not quite, according to a book named Why We Get Fat and What to Do About It by Gary Tobes. In many countries, nearly half of the population is overweight. But is overeating and sedentary behavior the reasons to blame? After all, the traditional explanation so far has been that we are eating more calories than we are burning. This book explains that the problems in our metabolism are caused by the quality of the food we eat. Depending on what we eat, our body goes into some fat storage mode and the consequence is that it makes us start eating more than necessary. The order of factors has to be corrected. We don't get fat because we eat too much. This type of belief implies a type of a solution that is usually hard to implement. If we are eating more than we are burning, then the answer should be that we should use our willpower to eat less and exercise more. But the inverted theory is that we are eating more than we need because of an unbalanced situation that is fattening. And how so? There are situations in which our body reaches a point of insulin resistance. We have a high level of insulin accumulating fat and feeling very hungry. In other words, first we enter the obesity process and because of that, we begin eating more. So the answer is to solve this problem. Therefore, to rebalance the metabolism, changing the quality of food. That way, we will naturally eat less. The suggestion of the book is to eliminate foods that cause a rapid rise in insulin in the body from our diet, such as sugar and excess carbohydrates. All the talk about weight loss is followed by this analysis of the low carbohydrate diets. When we compare the different and famous weight loss diets, we realize that yes, it is possible indeed to reap results when we manage to implement the recommendations of such diets. But it is not only because of the restriction of calories. It is also because those diets restrict sweets, and also foods made with wheat flour, which turns into glucose and thereby increases the insulin levels. In such cases, by reducing the calories, we get the impression that weight loss had happened because of the calorie limit. What we also have to take into account here is the impact of the quality of the calories. With fewer foods that raise insulin, there is also less fat stored in our body. Traditional diets are, however, quite hard to implement. They make us feel very hungry. And this is one of the strengths of diets, for example, like the protein diet, the Dukan diet. They allow more consumption of protein, and that way they are easier to implement and therefore we feel less hungry. All the diets that have lots of happy followers are Atkins and Paleo diets. These are ways also of eating fewer carbohydrates and little sugar. You may have heard about them as low-carb diets. They become very famous now. But back to the book, Why We Get Fat. It is a book easy to read and it explains the functioning of our body and warns us of the risks of excessive carbohydrate consumption. It is a book that says that the consumption of dietary fats is not the villain that we thought it was, that saturated fats are not that dangerous, but many of the problems faced by society today are caused by sugar and excess carbohydrates. And here's my opinion today about the book. It is a great start for those who want to understand more about weight gain. And the author also acknowledges that the book is highly simplified. It is to serve common people. His previous book is more complex. It is called Good Calories, Bad Calories. And besides all the talk about the exaggeration of carbohydrates that leads to insulin peaks, there are also several other factors such as leptin, ghrelin, cortisol, emotional aspects, anxiety, environment, and the influence of people around us. We will examine all these details together in the Not A Good Weight Loss program. I want to give you more tips because there is so much we need to learn and the best way to do it is to move in small steps that facilitates learning. So you can go now to natogood.com and you can register your email address so I can send you more videos. I am Sei Charata from natogood.com and we talk soon. 
And if you like this video, if you can favorite and share it, this will greatly help our project. But don't forget to register on natagood.com to receive more materials.